Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate We got my son, Lil Savvy here. He finally got his challenger he was wishing on. As y'all can recall, I had painted his Honda Civic years ago when I first started the channel. And then I had did some headlight restore on this, uh, what was it, a Dodge Avenger. And he mentioned, he said he had a Hellcat. He moving it on up now, he stepping it up. He almost got that Hellcat, but this will do, I guess, for now. This is uh, a 2000 what? 17? 2017. 2017. Challenger. Uh, RT. He be acting a fool in it. I told him he better cheer before the police get behind him. But uh, he gonna walk around it and let everybody know what we finna do to it. All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, initially, I had started to rap it. I only really got past the trunk. But like, uh. As I was taking the wrap that was previously on the car, we found out that this was actually painted on. So like we was gonna run into an issue right here anyways. Uh, so we figured it'd just be best to paint it. Uh, and what we gonna do to it, we're gonna paint the trunk, the roof, and the hood. It's gonna be satin black. And as far as like the sides, all of this is gonna be like matte army green. Satin. It's gonna be satin. Well. Matt oh, said, said Matt pretty said. much the same. Yeah. yeah, he was talking about rapping it. He told my paint is dead, but look, he done came back to Sprayway. He was talking about he was talking bad about Sprayway. Told my paint is dead. I told him the paint ain't gonna never die. Yep, still gotta get it painted. Yeah, he still gotta get it painted. So we gonna I guess we're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna do an unboxing and see what we got for us to paint. Pop the uh the hood. Let them see what you got up under there. Okay, five point seventy eight. Yeah, I almost got that here, okay. Give him a couple more years. I forgot they was talking about because I said yeah. uh, Avenger was a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me a couple years, man. All right, we're going to head back to the shop. I'll show you what paint it's going with. We're going to do the unboxing now. Everything from Urican. Take it out of place. Yeah, no, you ain't got to take out the plastic. This the reducer. I thought we got medium, but slow gonna be good. For all this heat. This the armor green. Low gloss. And this the activator. Then we got some uh, satin black. We're gonna paint the hood. The roof and the deck lid. We got the activator here. Let me open up this armor green so I can show you what it look like. Gonna open it up so we can get some look of the color. that color though. Yeah, this is gonna be the main color of the car, the door jams, the up under the hood, deck lid. Only thing gonna be black is the hood, the top of 
top. I'm gonna decorate it. But we're gonna paint the jams this color. So stay tuned. More videos on the way. Okay, on this video here, I'm going to show you how to stuff a shooter car with no body work or light body work. We're going to go through the steps. Me and my son here, a little savvy. The first step I'm doing, I'm getting a good paint job. It's actually taking everything off. I know it might be time consuming, trying to take all this stuff off, and a lot of folks are just throwing sanding on it. Then you'll wind up sanding on stuff you don't want sand it. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to take everything off. Then we'll take it from there. Probably use about half of the box. Come with 50 sheets. And on the door jams, I'll be using this maroon Scotch Sprite. I also could use the used sheets that I use, just fold them up and just hit the jams. But let me walk you around the car. It's ready for paint now. Once I wash it off, I'm going to wash it off with some soap and water. Then I probably do the jams next. Scuff those up and spray them first up under the hood. But I'm going to wash it off with some soap and water now. And once you do that, if you weren't going to do the jams, you just pull it in the booth, then get you some wax and grease remover. Wipe it down, then you'll be ready to shoot your base. We're about to jump back on the Challenger here. I'm about to take the doors off, the deck lid, and the hood so I can paint the jams on it. I'll be painting also the jams on the car. I just gotta scuff them up. But I'm gonna take everything off and then I start sanding them down. It's dry, I'll unmask it, pull it outside, then we'll move on to the next. 
next step. I also painted the mirrors back here. Let me take it back here. spraying black on the challenges such as the roof the hood and the deck lid I painted this army green yesterday so I don't want to turn it over right now until it harden up some more so I can paint the underside of black so I pull these out in the sun let these go ahead and harden up then I pull the car in and paint the roof black and once I paint the roof black I bring these back in and paint the underside black so let me go ahead and do that then I'll cut you back on okay we got the challenger back in the shop now we'll mask it up get ready to spray the roof satin black I just gotta get all the water out the cracks because I washed it up before I pulled it in so I'm gonna get the air hose and blow it off before I start masking it. Results of the roof. This is actually the day after. Today we're gonna get ready to paint the Challenger outside of it as you can see I already done painted the jams of it I haven't painted the hood and the deck lid jams that's why I'm not gonna put the hood and deck lid back on I'm gonna paint those when I paint the car but I gotta paint the bumpers first I got the front bumper over here I'm not gonna paint it with the car I'm gonna paint the shepherds but I'm gonna fill these holes up here and also it's two spots up here that I seen it's been repaired before Two spots. There's a spot here that's like bent down, so I'm gonna put a little glaze and put on it, build it back up on the east side. And I got the back bumper here. My son been out here sanding it. Well, he ain't sanding this back bumper, so he's gonna have to get on that. But while he's sanding that, I'm gonna take this inside and do my repairs.
guess about two and a half hours, maybe three, since I painted it. I'm going to start unmasking everything, such as around my trim. Especially up in here. I don't want the paint to harden up. Then I start unmasking and peel the paint up. Once I get it unmasked, I'm going to pull it out tomorrow. It done got dark on me now, so I'll pull it out tomorrow and get another look at it. I finished putting the hood on, also the deck lid. I pulled it out maybe an hour or two ago, trying to let it harden up. But before we move any further, as far as putting the bumpers on and the rest of the stuff, we're gonna jack it up and paint these wheels. As you can see, there's no chrome on the car, so we're going to satin black. And if you want to see how I painted the car, I have it popping up. I'll also, put it down in the, the description. I think he already done started sanding these. And it also got some curb rash. It's a little bit right here. But it's more on the other side. So let me take it around to the other side and show you. Okay, here the other side is. See this side a lot worse. But I'm gonna take you through the steps of repairing that and sanding this brush looking chrome. Sanding it down, getting ready for some satin black. I sprayed my last coat. I'm gonna let it sit out here overnight. Let it dry on up. Then I come back out here and unmask it. It's gonna flash off to a more satin look. Here's what the wheels look like after the unmask. I'm going to walk you around, show you what our form look like. Then I go outside, put them on the car, give you a final look at them.
just gonna be a quick video over here. I got some faded automotive plastic. Over time, your plastic gonna fade, and it's gonna be looking dull. And I'm gonna show you how to take care of that, bring it back to life. The first step is sanding them, because if you don't sand it, ain't nothing gonna stick to it. And what we're gonna be sanding it with is the maroon sky spray. This maroon sky spray here. And it's not gonna take that whole piece. I got a piece toward the sides like this here. What you wanna do, you just wanna run it across, put scratches in it. It's gonna get a paint something to burn to. So let me take care of that and finish all this off. let it sit out here in the shop drown up I also painted these pieces here I painted these maybe a week ago I gotta put these back on the bumpers I got the bumpers here these here are set also as well it's armor green I have the videos of me painting the these in the car down in the description you can go check it out I didn't paint this here. Goes behind the bumper. Paint the rear bumper. These here been painted. Let me put these together. Then I give you another look at it. I also install them on the car, so you would look like. Here's all the trim installed. Now I just got to put the bumpers back on the car. Once I do that, we'll cut you back on, show you what that look like.
the stars.